Good evening and welcome to another episode of T260. Today's episode we're going to be talking about Dutch oven cooking. Now we've done multiple Dutch oven cooking videos on this channel but we're going to get into the specifics of the actual tools, the stuff you're going to need and how to cook with these wonderful ovens and everything you're going to need. But however, this is not a good environment for it. Let's get somewhere that looks a little prettier. Now that's much better. Okay, we gotta get out ourselves out in the wilderness a little bit. Now let's go over some of the things. Now if you see, I have two Dutch ovens, one deep, one shallow. Now one's more for baking, the deeper, and the other one's just for whatever I need it for. Now if you wanna know more about different size in Dutch ovens and which is best for you, we'll go ahead and leave a link in, well, one of these corners. Okay. So first things first, when we've got Dutch ovens, we're gonna need charcoal, right? And to start it, we have what's called a chimney. And if you notice, it has kind of a concave entrance and stuff. This is to help uh, suck air in, oxygen from up the bottom. And while you can make a stack of coals, uh, it takes a, bit, a little bit longer. This will get my coals ready to go in about 15 minutes. Now, when it comes to briquettes, make sure and if you know, guys know another brand that's really good, that are big and chunky, uh, let me know. But a lot of briquettes nowadays are really thin. And these are just really thick. And this is B&B, &B, not sponsored by them, but they seem to be the best I've found. But if there's a better brand out there that are real thick, Kingsfur seems to be really thin. I want them to last longer because the faster they burn, uh, some advertise, hey, we can uh, you know, start up the fire faster. However, they leave a lot of ash and ash insulates. So get yourself a nice chunky brand and use your chimney. Just go ahead and, you know, pour it on in there. And you'll use a little bit of lighter fluid on top, at least I do. Some people just put a uh, little rag or, you know, piece of paper underneath, light it. And in about 15, 20 minutes, you'll have nice hot coals ready to go for these Dutch ovens. Now, another thing I've invested is in some long tongs. Now, when you're doing one Dutch oven, these are good, but if you're doing multiple Dutch ovens, this might be tedious. So uh, you might need a shovel with some little holes. I know that's how Kent Rollins does it. He's another YouTuber that does a lot of Dutch oven cooking. So when I got my coals nice and hot and ready, and right now we're under a burn ban. So yes, we can't uh, light this right now at this park, but we have some stock footage that we can show you. We'll go ahead and I just pull one at a time and this way I don't get the ash. Some people will just dump these, you know, out and they get all sorts of ash in there. I like to, you know, you know, uh, not have that insulation there. And if you hear what sounds like a little one-year-old in the back, that's because this is a family affair and we do bring the kids out. So once you got your uh, coals all around it, uh, just know on the top you will need for every coal, I'm just using my hands for right now, but you know, I'll use tongs. I would never do this while these were lit. Um, let's say it's 10 coals on top. So once you get your 10 briquettes on top, know about half that number will go on the bottom. In this case, it's actually six, so not quite 50-50. But uh, yeah, just about half your briquettes on bottom as you do on top. I'll go lift this. Once again, I would never do this if this was lit. I'll show you. Obviously, half my briquettes on bottom, they'll be glowing. Um, in some cases, you'll need to preheat your Dutch oven, depending on what you're cooking. When I do things like cornbread, I go ahead and preheat my Dutch oven, but that's not in every case. Sometimes you'll need to go ahead and flour your Dutch oven or spray your Dutch oven down. Now, uh, if this is a newer Dutch oven, use high temperature oil. This is just grapeseed oil, but use a high temperature oil. If, if it's a well-aged or seasoned Dutch oven, go ahead and use canola oil. Now, let's go over our next thing a lid lifter now lids get hot so this is a adjustable lid lifter you just put on there and it holds it nice and tight and you can pull it right off and anytime i need to check this and i could rotate the lid if i need to if you're using actual charcoal these are briquettes but if you're using charcoal uh, sometimes you need to rotate that lid to get rid of hot spots so invest and a lid lifter. Another thing, invest in nice heavy gloves. These are some of my old welding gloves and these work perfect. Once again, I'm doing some of the stuff with bare hands, but in reality, I would never want to get burned. So invest in welding gloves. Now, 
It takes some patience to get used to these. So um, most meals take anywhere from 30, 45 minutes, but I've done up to four hours. Just imagine this as your regular oven. Anything you cook in your regular oven, you can cook in this oven. Speaking of multi-hour cooks, like when I did barbacoa, and we'll go ahead and leave you a link for that one as well, and that took four hours. Always have coals ready to go. It takes a while for them to get started, as I told you, uh, 15 to 20 minutes. So as these start turning into ash, you know, you may need to occasionally blow off the lid or you can grab your lid lifter and kind of shake it once it's time to replace them off. Uh, but always have coals ready to go. Don't wait till it's time to change them to start uh, igniting some more coals. So always have some available. Okay, last thing I would like to add is when you're investing in a Dutch oven, get yourself a good one. This is Lodge. This is the only brand I use. They're the only brand still made in the United States. Very high quality. Now they'll run about double what some of the other ones uh, cost, but the rest are made in India and China. They just don't have the same quality. And if you think you're something you're gonna be interested in, buy yourself too, a deep and a shallow. That way there's nothing you can't cook. So yes, I know I have a little four-year-old behind me. Once again, this is a family affair. So. If you do like this channel, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, and share this information. And if you got knowledge, please share it with others as well. And if you got a better briquette that we can use that's a really beefier one, let us know in the comments. We're always looking for something better. All right, this is Adam with T260 signing off.